best way to bring people together is food. I don't Agreed. think you're wrong at all. I don't, awesome. I don't think you're wrong at all. I, <clears throat> and that, I, I mean, I experienced that in, in my life. One of, I mean, my, my favorite thing to do, and it is, and in the summertime, the schedule and the channel here may change a little bit, but my favorite thing to do is to cook food for people and have people over at the house it would be ah. as as no i i love it i mean i i and in yes. like i and my wife and i were always talking about cooking cooking and having people over and uh and 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 just sharing that with people and even though as hard as times are getting for many places around the world but mm. one of the things that I've always loved and one of the things that my wife and I love is finding food from around the world that we can cook. And I always tell my wife this, if you ever want to know how to cook good food from any part of the world, find an old grandma online. Yep. Right. <laughs> and make yeah. sure. And if it's from a part of the world that doesn't share the English language, make sure that there's captions. Cause if she's mm. speaking American, it's no find a grandma from a part of the world that you and you don't even understand the video but and and my and believe it or not my wife does and and, and she kills it but i i am not i'm not a well traveled person i can't say that i ever will be maybe one day i will be i'm not yes. a well traveled person but the internet has a way of 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 sharing the food and the cultures and the passion of that food. And I think you're hundred percent correct. I, I mean, if I, if I could one of these days and I pray that this will happen, I pray that the, as this grows and as it becomes bigger and I, I will be able to, to fly all of the people out to my small corner of the world and i will be able to barbecue and smoke the meats and pull fresh vegetables out of my garden and my wife and i will be able to prepare the foods not only that we love but the foods that everybody has shared with us with everyone and i i look forward to coming over for dinner man i, I thank you for inviting me dude I, yes. I, I, do, I do an awesome smoked lamb leg uh, I, all right tell me when I loved smoked lamb. It is one Royce, of my. What? If you were, if you were, if you were a, a human in Star Shatter, <laughs> most certainly uh, um, a family of gorillas would adopt you instantly, <laughs> just because of your um, um, skill with uh, barbecue. I, you know, I I love. Man, there's something we, we, my wife and I, we, and we, we've had to build a new community in our new state that we live in. But before we moved during the summer, mm -hmm. I mean, we would have, we'd had a community of people and we just, we'd send out a text message on like Friday night and say, be like, you know, on, on Saturday, hey, what are you guys doing this weekend? Oh, well, we're not doing much. Well, we were planning on cooking. And my wife and I would just come up with this list of stuff. I mean, just, just the list of things and we never do typical barbie like burgers and hot dogs you no know, my wife and i would always would always push ourselves you know my wife would cook like fantastic gumbos and i'd get out there and i would do like a a, a smoked like pulled pork you know like a, a pulled pork butt you know and my and and we would just, we were always pushing ourselves to share and now we're you know i we're looking at, um i had mentioned um uh, uh, a while back on i i think one of my sunday streams um one of my Sunday streams, somebody had sent in a super chat and it was Peruvian uh, money. And I was like, oh, one of my best friends growing up, his mom was from Peru. And there was this recipe that she made that I loved when I was a kid and he found it and sent it to me on my gilded. It's called Eros Tapado. And it is essentially a rice, you take rice and you form it in the form of patties with, with meat and vegetables in the middle with a medley of other things. And it is, I, I loved it as a kid. And I shared it with my wife and my wife is, and my wife went out the next day and she couldn't find all of the, but she has all of the, the, the stuff waiting. And although I'm not a well-traveled person, 
the one thing that the internet has given us is the ability to experience the flavors of the world. And it's awesome because I just, I love, I don't love just eating the run of the mill, just American food all the time. My dad grew up with a lot of Italians and a lot of Mexicans. And, and then my dad being a truck driver drove all around the U S and so he learned how to cook from people that he just talked to once or twice in Texas and cook fantastic barbecue in Louisiana. And I learned how to cook gumbo for my dad. You know, my dad, my dad taught me how to do an actual roux. And if you guys don't know how to do an actual roux, like, but food. It's an effort. It, 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 oh yeah, no, doing a roux. <laughs> oh yeah. You know yeah. what I'm, yeah, doing an actual roux with the butter. And I mean, and, and you can burn it very easily. Yep. Yeah, very. you have to look, you have to look. They have to stay there. Uh -huh. you, you can't. You can't leave the stove. No. Yeah, no. You can't. Nope. And because it, it, it has to be hot, it can't be not hot. It has to be the and. It, but I love that you're you're working in your novels to speak so many different languages to people. The language of food. The language of culture. And separating those cultures and identifying those cultures. How did you do the culture thing? How did you get? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You see how I did that? Drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, I'm not drunk yet, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of the things which I um, I mentioned from from an alien's point of view. Good night, Judy Davis. View, good night. Judy. Uh, good night. Good night, my friend. She She's one of my um, oldest um, friends and uh, readers and fans so uh, one of the one of the things I, I wrote from the aliens point of view is that they they have lost this separation of cultures they all at some point they kind of um, ruined their uh, unique cultural identities and they have a unique culture uh, on their planets like almost all of their colonies are exactly the same because they um they kind of lost their uniqueness before they they went um into the stars and uh, co began to colonize the planets hmm. and and this is why uh, and I wrote about it in, in the books. This is why Earth became um, a huge tourist destination because you you don't you don't visit Earth to just see one uniculture like it's on on all alien planets. Uh, you see, you go you go to Earth to see hundreds of cultures. That's and an interesting. Take everything on is it. different everything is different and and they so they um i mean you had it well so this is an the, alternate history gathering, so so in the yeah. star system if i may interject because i want to understand and make sure that i'm understanding this correctly so in the greater star system the culture is like you said somewhat of a uniculture but on earth it seems to be maintained that there are many different cultures living with each other still or am yep. i it's uh that on earth, on earth you have um all of the all of the cultures which survive they are preserved and they keep preserving them uh, and when they when different peoples went out to colonize uh, different planets um, they kind of formed even even more cultural uh, specific cultural identities. Let's say Mars, for example, or the lunar colony, which are the 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 most like some of the most famous ones. But you have the outer colonies, which are you you you. You could say that this is the Wild West, quote unquote, style of um, space western. Um, 
it, it is called Space Oyster. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it's um, they let's say you have a group of Italians and they colonized some some tiny planet somewhere. They might continue doing exactly the same things that they, they have, like the, the, the their songs, let's say they're from Sicily. They have their, their songs, they have their, their, the, the traditional dresses, they have the traditional food, etc., etc. But uh, with time, this will this will grow and change. They will preserve it. They will preserve the heritage, but they will grow the heritage. They will add new things. They will not wipe it out and abandon it. Because if they wipe it out, if, if they abandon it for something else, then they are they are killing their past. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.